have been feeling a little bit inspiration deprived, so I thought I would just use two of my favorite Mothership palettes and combine them to create a different type of look. I wanted to kind of bring out the cool tones from Mothership 1 and combine them with the warmer tones from Mothership 5 and see if I could do something creative. I just needed a little spark, something inspiring to kind of reignite my love for Pat McGrath. We are gonna kick it with some old school Pat McGrath today. I've got the Mothership 5 and the Mothership 1. I'm gonna combine both of these for this look. If you have these palettes, this is your sign to pull them out. It's time to play with them. If you don't, you definitely do not need them. They always go on sale, so if you're interested in getting them, wait for Estelle. She typically does many in a year. I've already primed my lids with my Sigma primer. I'm going to use these matte shades today, and then I'm going to dip into Mothership 5 and pick up the Blitz shades. I'm going to start this off by building up a little bit of liner in my outer corner with my Lisa Eldridge pencil. I need my mirror for this. I'm going to start by picking up the shade Depth on a Refer 26 brush. I'm going to use this to kind of help me blend out that pencil. And as per usual, allergies are flaring in. Allergy season is the absolute worst. Ruins all my makeup. So I'm going to do my eyes first just because the way my allergies have been today, I'm not risking it. I need a stiffer pencil for this actually. Yeah, let me try a stiffer pencil. I'm gonna use a Milk Cosmetics pencil brush. I'm gonna smudge it out a little bit. The benefit to doing your eye first is if you mess up, you can erase. Plus if my eyes start watering for my allergies, Bless it, I don't have to erase my foundation and do it all over again. That's actually much better. All right, I'm gonna pick up that Refer 26 one more time and now I'm gonna kind of smoke it a little bit in this outer corner. I haven't played with my Pat McGrath palettes in so long. They feel like they're being wasted sitting on the shelf back there. So it's time, it's been past time. I'm gonna pick up the shade Ultimate Taupe from Mothership One. It's okay if this gets messy because cleaning up is a breeze, but also I'm gonna be using quite a bit of shimmer and I'm not doing a sharp outer wing. I'm just gonna be rounding it out. I love my rounded out wings. I feel like they just are, I don't know, a little more wearable, take a little less effort. I don't have to struggle so much to make both eyes look the same because let's face it, both of my eyes are not shaped the same and you know what they're sisters they're not twins they're just sisters so it takes a bit more work for me to make my eyes look even my favorite thing about these pat mcgrath palettes is how easily they blend even after they've been sitting on the shelf for some time the shadows are still incredible sensational formula i'm holding my breath for the next mothership i'm waiting Ooh, with disappointment in the back of my mind because I just know it. I just know it. I don't foresee this next palette being a, a color other than pink. I just don't. I'm going to switch into an E45 from Sigma and pick up, ooh, extreme black. I'm going to build this up in my outer corner here. I miss playing with these so much. I think what I'm going to do is do my own series on these Pat McGrath palettes and just kind of pull them out, do individual videos, and then do like videos where I kind of mix and match, kind of like Martina Lilly, my sister from another mister down under. I'm just going to do rounded circular motions here in the outer crease. I've been doing a lot of smoky looks lately. I better be careful. The Pat McGrath Mothership One was actually my second palette that I ever bought. I bought Divine Rose Two first in the pink, pink packaging. Oh my gosh. And that one has always been my favorite. Now that I think about it, I think Mothership Six Midnight Sun might actually be my favorite just because I feel like the colors are a lot more wearable for me. 
and there's a little bit more variety in there with the purple and the orange and the green so and it's quite fall-esque and I love fall I'm gonna switch back to that melt 818 brush I'm not gonna pick up any other product on it and I'm just going to help diffuse this black a little bit more I'll come back after I do my base and kind of touch up that lower lash line mostly because with my allergies I really need to be careful with my concealer placement my dumb butt did not come prepared with my intensify stick from Pat McGrath or my glitter glue so I'm a little ashamed of myself I'm going to spray my brush but I'm also gonna switch palettes so I'm switching to Mothership 5. I'm gonna pick up VR Fire Opal, and this is actually gonna be an extremely easy look. I'm gonna pick it up on both sides. I'm gonna pick it up on both sides of my brush and spray my brush. Arguably one of the more easy looks that I've done with my Pat McGrath palettes. And I am just going to spread this all over my lid. I guess I could use my finger. Actually, I lied. I'm going to pick it up with my finger. Yes. And just pat it that way. I'm going to pat it over that black and gently into my crease. And I'll clean that up here in just a little bit. I know it looks a little bit crazy, but I promise it'll all come together. I'm going to use this same Sigma E58 brush. And what I'm going to do is gently sweep in my inner third of the crease back and forth just to kind of diffuse the shimmer a bit. Perfect. And then I'm going to take that Melt 818 brush and very gently go back around that matte shade without going into that shimmer. And the thing that I like to do is make, instead of circular motions back and forth or windshield wiper motions, it's just do single swipe motions over that shadow, that shimmer, excuse me. There we go. So that I'm not spreading that shimmer all the way around. I'm gonna do my face off of camera and then I'm gonna come back and finish up my eyes with you. I'm going to finish up these eyes. I'm picking up the shade Ultimate Taupe and I'm going to sweep this along my lower lash line. And gently bring it to meet that outer corner. And I'm going to take a Sigma E40, a big fluffy brush, and pick up just a teeny tiny amount of that and just gently on the outside corner here. Do circular motions just to kind of help blend it in a little bit better into my base. I love big fluffy brushes like that just to kind of help diffuse it a little bit more on the outside so these lines aren't so harsh. And now I'm going to pick up a Makeup Forever brush and go into that black shade Extreme Black and sweep this right at the lash line. I'm gonna take a Refer 03 brush and go into the shade Skin Show Nude. Took me a second, they're all nude something. I'm gonna use this to highlight my brow bone. It's just what I like to do. You don't have to do this step at all. And to keep this look on more of the simple side, I'm gonna pick up Skin Show Nude with that same brush and just place it on my inner corner for a highlight. I don't really want to add extra shimmer here just because my allergies are pretty rough. I'm going to use the same Refer 03 and pick up the shade Extreme Black. I'm going to use this just to kind of stamp along my lash line there for liner. And then I'm going to put on some lashes. That just gives it a little bit more of a wearable smoky line and I like that. And this is my completed look featuring the Mothership 1 and 5 palette. I love both of these palettes. I'm more partial to my 1 than I am the 5. I like the cooler tones versus the warmer tones. But the Blitz Astrals in both of these are just amazing. And the lipstick I have on my teeth right now is my Charlotte Tilbury Lip Liner in Red Carpet Red. And my Matte Trance Lipstick in Elson 3 from Pat McGrath. 
Hopefully this look inspired you to pull out your own Pat McGrath palettes. They are way too expensive to be sitting on the shelf collecting dust. And you guys know the drill. Everything on my face is linked down below. Those links are affiliated. So if you click on those links, thank you so much for supporting my channel. I truly appreciate you. Do something for yourself today because you are worth it.